Ready to fire! The Carl Gustav Recoilless Rifle. Nicknamed the Charlie G by British soldiers, it's a powerful man-portable weapon, a cannon on your shoulder. It's recoilless because, like a bazooka, it has a vent at the back of the tube so the exhaust from its large calibre explosive ammunition can escape backwards. Like a rifle, its barrel has spiral grooves, spinning the ammunition for enhanced accuracy. Brought into the British Army in the 60s, goes out in the 90s in favour of much more advanced, expensive systems. It's become a cost-effective option. So we see, we saw in Afghanistan, the American Army brought it in, uh, across, sort of fleet, they fleeted it across the whole um, US Army, whereas previously it was a, a special operations forces type weapon for blowing up bunkers and things like that. Um, they recognize the value of something that's low cost for the launcher, relatively speaking, and very low cost for the munitions, you know, hundreds of dollars instead of potentially tens of thousands of dollars. So it's not necessarily that it's somehow leapt back to the forefront of technology, although some of the rounds are really impressive. It's more to do with the amount of munitions you're having to fire to achieve the effect that you need. And in the case of Ukraine, it's essentially a full on war that's going on. And they're using these things for against everything from guys behind cover to um, light armored vehicles, soft skin vehicles, um, and of course, main battle tanks even. Made by Swedish defence giant Saab, its many variants are used by more than 40 countries worldwide. Now Britain is joining the Carl Gustav M4 revolution to replace some of the so-called anti-structure munitions gifted to Ukraine. This thing is, it can never be as capable as something like Enlaw, for example. Um, the, the major advantage of that is the ability to, for, the, for the, um, the warhead munition to come in, pop up and engage from the top. Uh, and kill the tank in its most most vulnerable area, the, the top of the turret. Carl Gustav can't do that, but it can cripple a main battle tank. Um, and with some of these advanced warheads, it can uh, it can affect a, a not just a mobility kill, but an outright kill from at least the rear aspect. Um, you know, the front of the tank is extremely well armoured. Uh, the sides of a, something like a T90 might be too much, but potentially in in the rear aspect. And if you blow off a track, um, the thing isn't moving and it can then be killed perhaps another way or the crew will simply abandon it. The moment I believe there are 15 different types. Now that includes training, munitions, practice munitions, uh, smoke has always been imp an important option for well anything from mortars to this kind of recoilless weapon. Illumination, um, shells essentially as well. They can be fired from a recoilless weapon like this. The British Army has gone for an armor defeating round that is capable of defeating 400 millimeters of conventional um, tank armor if you like so that that's one option for them um and i believe the initial buy will be quite sort of limited but the scope there takes you through these 15 different types of ammo all the way up to a new guided type of munition so you're you're turning your um, unguided dumb light anti-tank weapon into something that can actually track and engage like a much more expensive system like Enlaw. Um, it, won't, it won't be able to do the um, top attack where the armor is thinnest, but it can steer itself to the target. Uh, a very significant new-ish new one, um, I believe it was introduced for the M3, is a confined space munition. So that enhances the counter mass aspect of the round to limit the backblast. That's one of the major drawbacks of a recoilless system is the tremendous amount of backblast. I mean, guys that have fired this thing, um, you will know very well. Uh, it's a significant experience to do that, even in, even outdoors. The concussion, the pressure wave from that thing. So you imagine doing that in a confined space like a, a, a building, that you're in serious trouble if you try to do that with a conventional one. The MOD has signed a £4.6 million package with Saab that includes ammunition and training. Its introduction will contribute to the strike capability and lethality of British infantry soldiers. Stuart Rumble, Forces News.